In the last six years, New York City averaged around 1,000 accidents a day. Although most were minor, they still caused bus delays. So we analyzed the data to identify the accidents on bus routes. The map shows the location with most accidents. In six years, there were 4,800 accidents in this area. And you can see the five bus lines that travel through this location. A temporal analysis shows that most accidents happened on Saturdays at 2 p.m. This chart shows the number of accidents by time of day and day of week, so we can easily filter data. On Friday nights, you can see that the buses operating in this Gramercy Park location were impacted the most. We can also look at a graph view of the operation. This is using an ArcGIS knowledge graph service to show how things are connected within the system, from buses and drivers to bus maintenance. Selecting a bus that's operating in real time selects it in the graph. I can expand this node to see who has driven this bus in the past and if any repairs were performed. I can select a repair to see when it was performed and if it was a part of routine maintenance, and I can expand that node to see which parts of the bus were worked on. Because the graph contains both spatial and non-spatial data, I can use a different approach and search for a driver. When I expand this node, we can see that this driver operated four of the buses and was involved in three incidents. And if I select one of the buses in the graph, it shows us where that bus is right now, connecting the graph to a real-time map. At its core, this application is about identifying potential problems before they turn into real problems. 